common bit of feedback we get on the videos we upload is to do with the kind of price of entry of music production. Now I think it's a pretty common misconception for people to think you have to spend thousands of dollars to be able to make music. And just to demonstrate this, uh, this gave us a bit of an idea. So we had the idea of buying and assembling a whole music production setup while staying within the budget of $200. And that's what we're going to do today. So we set ourselves the rules. Rule number one, don't spend more than $200, obviously. Rule number two, no demos, no trials. All of the software has to, has to be legitimately free. And number three, all the hardware that we use has to be bought with that $200. We can't borrow a pair of monitors or a pair of headphones. Everything we make has to be with the equipment we bought. Speaking of. Yes, that's what right. So what we have bought is, um, some sort of X office equipment. Uh, we've okay. got a, like this quad core i5 uh, thing. That's that was, our hub. That's our central that, that computing is, device. Uh, that is the computer. This, Looks this good. Is, was yeah. $111.99 from eBay. Fair. Um, we've also got, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Dodge, you've cheaped out here. You haven't even gone and got a 1080p monitor. And you'd be absolutely oh right. <laughs> I've got a 900p Lenovo display. Wide screen though. Nice wide and wide for all wide your oh, great. wide needs. Uh, this has seven USB ports. Holy sh... Okay, all right. Is that many? Uh, we've USB got, rich. We've got, got, got a keyboard and mouse here. Um, I'm oh, definitely recommend. How much you back? Uh, this was uh, $9.89. Mm, uh, just make sure you wash your hands after we use this. Did you uh, think of power supply cables? Uh, yes, yes, power supply cables, got those, yeah. Um, and not only that, got a wireless USB uh, Wi-Fi dongle. Josh, oh, because of course there's no yeah. Wi-Fi on board, no. so. Three dollars and thirty-three cents. Oh wow! And, not too uh, bad so far. How are we going to listen to the music? Oh, I'm glad you asked. I, yeah. Introducing. I'm not so glad. The uh, twenty-nine-ish dollars, I think. <laughs> yeah. Staples, Logitech, something others. You've used these before. They are, right? it's okay. We can work with these. Valley was the one to recommend yes, these. Yes, I so. have worked on these before. My girlfriend had them. Okay. So I used to, when I was at her place, I used to work on these, so I have some experience with them. Nice. All right, and so this, that's. The screen was 39 bucks. Okay. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so oh I, 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 I haven't got the exact math, but it is under 200, I did check. All, all right, right, well, let's set up all of this equipment and um, yeah, let's make ourselves a home studio. Let's do it. Plug it in. Plug it in. All right. Oh, this looks great. I feel like I'm about to play like Counter Strike 1.6. Or maybe like an Excel parties. spreadsheet or something like that. <laughs> oh, or that. Oh, that. Write oh, a resignation that. letter to your boss. Um, <laughs> where's the on button? <laughs> How do you turn it on? Oh, here we are. Okay. Whoa! We it's have live. power. Does it work? It's alive. I can't wait to hear these bad boys. I think they're going to put out some serious noise. <sighs> you know, if it sounds good on these, it's going to sound good everywhere. <laughs> There we go. Good reference oh. point. Uh, all right. There we go. Uh, DAWs. Um, I guess so. Cakewalk. I'm pretty sure that's free. I, I did a bit of googling beforehand. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's get Internet Explorer open. So what happened to Reaper? Because I know some people at my university used to use Reaper, yeah, same, and yeah. that used to be free. They scrapped the free license. You have like a kind of a, a light and a pro now. Oh, okay. So okay. cake. Walk. Damn it. Yeah, that would be Because I've seen it a couple of times and it looked pretty powerful. It's really good. Yeah, it's really, really All good. All right, okay, cake of fork. But you know what? Well, I used is, to this use is this. free. Yeah, so, so, well, it didn't used to be free. And I used, for about four years, when I first started recording bands, I was exclusively using cake walk sonar. So if it hasn't changed much, I'm probably going to be uh, a bit of help here, actually. Yeah, cake walk okay. by Band Lab. Here we Download. go. Download. Download this. Cakewalk by Band Lab is free. Are we 64-bit? It says 64-bit only. Oh, that's I hope question. we are. I, I fucking hope so. Okay. okay. So the, the computer itself is a third generation uh, quad-core i5. I think it's got four gigs of RAM and a 160 gigabyte hard drive. So this is going to be pretty painful, but it should work. It's not that bad. Um, I mean, compared to what I, I made for the music. Price. For $111, yeah. it's actually not horrendous. Really not All right, let's see what the speakers are like then. Correct monitor placement. Oh yeah. Triangle. I mean, there's a lot of top <laughs> end on them, but you know what? You can hear everything. Is there a sub control? Yeah. Oh, yeah so the there's, there's air coming out of this. Oh, this. Oh, I see. 
Okay, cool. Maximum. Slab on the worst. It could be worse. That could be way worse. That is enough to work on for sure. For sure, yeah. <laughs> so Val, you put some um, some samples on the USB, right? I have plugged in USB drive D. Okay. All right, cool. Now the question is, do we copy these off onto the hard drive, or is a flash drive quicker? So these two That's are. A good question. <laughs> the, so these two are the samples from the Free Disciple Christmas packs. I don't know which uh, one the like which year the other delete, ones from. Delete all of these ones. They're gonna be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> these are gonna sound great. Oh, I really, I really can't wait to listen to these. Did you check whether this is um, 64 bit or not? Nope. Okay. Just, just hoping. <laughs> We've got Cakewalk to install. Uh, now we're doing some plugins, so uh, I think the first thing obviously is going to be uh, OTT. Oh, yeah. So um, I downloaded a few free plugins and of course OTT. Yes. So let's What's do that? that. What's OTT? So it's this amazing thing <laughs> invented <laughs> by I'm Steve Duda. <laughs> Um, so X64, I guess, and this is going oh, to go into detected cakewalk. sick cakewalk PST plugins. Great, okay, nice. So we got that. Then I also want to put in the dimension expander X64. I'm just going to drag and drop that over here. So that we have a good distortion, I want to install the old Camel Crusher that used to be free. It is still free, but the company went bankrupt, so it's kind of hard to get. But you will find it. Just Google it. It's free. Uh, what Hasbro? synth? What oh, synth yeah. are we using? So I found this one free one from uh, Yuhi that's Zebra or Zebra Let. That's the free version of it. No, it's not a trial. It's its own standalone free synth. And I think it has some good presets. So we can use that for intro pads and it has a filter that we can modulate. So if Cakewalk stock plugins suck, this might be our only chance. Um, all right, install that. Okay, this is rather small as well. This shouldn't take too long. And um, okay, let's try to open Cakewalk after this, and then if let's see how it works. If we need to, we can install those stock instruments. Okay. All right. Fingers crossed. Oh, do we need ASIO for all, like the drivers? Let's try it Maybe. with direct. Let's try it with the Windows DirectX audio drivers first, and if not, then ASIO for all. So, for those of you guys that are unfam unfamiliar, uh, ASIO for all is a kind of a, a more high-performance audio driver that's kind of universally compatible with most. Uh, audio interfaces and it gives a more kind of Mac OS level of performance from your audio card. However, there's other problems as well, like it locks out system audio from other applications. So DirectX Audio, the basic Windows drivers is, uh, is also a viable option just with slightly lower performance. Use a template 16 Use track. Empty, empty, empty project. Empty project, okay. Wait. It's something sick. Okay, so we do have EQs. We uh, tap plus yeah, on effects. Yeah, there's like a little channel strip. Ah, this is awesome. Uh, tap plus on effects and then you'll be able to see if any of the plugins installed. Audio effects. Uh, scan VST folder. So Getting a bit tired as well if you want. Oh, um, and then scan VST. It's still like scanning down here, I think, uh, oh, in, in, the, in the background right now or something. Uh, that's the freezing. That's the. So the, if I say the, insert the instrument uh, and then I say instrument. Uh, Uncategorized. General MIDI. Oh, that's the only one it has. Okay. TB Car well. Carolyn. That's one yeah, of let's, the. Let's, eight let's bit close plugins. this. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, it can't load. Bit bridge. What the fuck yeah, is man. bit bridge? Peach is kind of nice. Oh, here we are. Synth. Oh, okay. Hey, cool. Okay. Yeah. So so synth. synth are the ones. And zebra. Sick. And okay. zebra. So we got those. So um, TV Peach is great. We're gonna we're gonna use that for sure. If it works. <laughs> If it, oh, it there it is! Worked, it worked. Oh okay. my god, it is Holy there! Fuck. How do I play it? Does it have like a little keyboard? Spend more than two hundred dollars. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> like, is there a way that we can play this? <laughs> oh, a keyboard thing? Yeah, there is. Um, and Josh, you used to use I this. I did. It's totally. Different. Why did you used to use this? Yeah, good question. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you trying to make music for under two hundred dollars? That's literally. I have no idea why. Okay, should it. we try just, oh just so we god. can understand how the software works? Let's try to make a MIDI clip. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to double click. No, that that's, that's not it. Uh, how about insert? Insert MIDI track. Um, no. What if I select and right click? Edit. Nope. Nope. I think maybe like just drag the channel down here. Am I drawing something? Yes. yes. Oh my god. Told you. So you do it directly. Oh my in. god. Are we going to? We can't hear it. It's on the channel. Hold on. But look, I bet you now if you drag this out, you can extend it. It's an extend? Yeah, here we go. So okay, this, so this no, is you how go, we made uh, go to views and then select piano roll. That'd be a separate oh board. my god. Uh, you have to check the different tool. Maybe go to select. 
Because it's on smart mode. Oh, it's like, okay, so that's like Cubase. You have oh, there to like, we go. Yeah. Tap yeah. piano different... roll there. Tap piano roll. Click. And then, yeah. There she is. Okay. Hey. Oh my oh. god. Okay, increase the buffer. Yeah, buffer size yeah. maximum. Like, five minutes or something. <laughs> Uh, where does it show me what? Okay, I'm in. Ah, uh, this is like 16th notes, and then like does it draw a 16th note? If yeah, I do that, but okay. the grid doesn't change. So that's <laughs> yeah, 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 that's fun. <laughs> cool. fun Josh, fun why family. did you use this software? I have no idea. I didn't do a lot of MIDI stuff. It was all audio. So it's it's so it. bad. It's, it's very good at like audio stretching. I remember that. Okay, here we go. We have okay, some music. I just want like a, I just want like a terrible 16th note ARP. Real quick. Come on, this can't be that hard. I want to select the note and then remove it. No, you oh need a God. new no, note. No, it switches just back. The just drag the, drag the beginning. It switches back to the old grid if I select a note of oh, that fuck. size. That's really annoying. So, no. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, that's right. But that's not what I wanted to do. But if I want to move... Okay, great. So I can move you here. Why okay. doesn't this... Okay. This doesn't snap! You need to change oh. the grid size. Up. Here. No, here. up here. Snap. There's a snap thing here. Eighth notes. How do I change you? Right, there we go. Right click, of course. But it still it. doesn't this change one. the grid. This one here. That's on 16th already. Up there. It? What? There, oh, it is. there it is. But this is still not, like, I just want the lines to be 16th notes. Whatever. This is so shit. This is really bad. I need a break. <laughs> I wonder why this company went out of business. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Okay, cool. We have a 16th note. F minor ARP at 150 people. You know what this needs? My job is. <laughs> you know what this needs? Yeah. Fucking loads of OTT, mate. Oh, let's see if it works. Oh. If the OTT made it, like under uncategorized, we should have OTT. OTT. Yeah, look at that. That works. Mm. Indeed, that works. Great. Okay, so now we can uh, get rid of the low end. No, this has no low cut. Do you have a low cut? Yeah. Don't know how. Double click, maybe? Because I can see there's four EQ nodes in there. Yeah, but the, even the lowest one is. Oh, there we go. That is right just. It? That is just. That's how are you meant to use that? Right I bet you can make it bigger if you dub, if you like expand it somehow. The oh this God. thing though. Okay, so at least we've got some presets in here of all kinds of. Great. I'll tell you what. I'm glad I didn't skimp on the screen so you can see what we're doing on that EQ. Ooh, Ouch! Holy shit! That's kind of nice. Can we make this one a little more plucky, and then I will be happy. No that idea random that note came comes. in again from nowhere. Just testing you, mate. Just testing to see if you keep your There it is! All right. Found it! It's, it's gone. Okay, okay, great. Oh, okay. Let me save this real quick before it crashes or whatever. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, this has been about an hour's worth of work so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, what now? Drums. Yeah? And uh, drums and that's Do you want to move over? All right. Oh, you want to do it? Right. Well, let's, let's <laughs> we can share the chair. We can share the chair, Josh. I've got a chair. I've got my own right. chair. You can have your... Right, so let's, let's add an audio track. Where the fuck? Do I just drag samples you on here? You can drag samples okay. onto it, I'm pretty sure. Let's just go straight from... Yeah. This is quite frankly like an SSD by comparison. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, right, whose drums are we using? Fosky, let's go. Oh, let's let's, oh, get, yeah. let's get a really high quality EQ that, that we made. Kick drum. Kick. Snare. Let's just put the kick in. Do I just drag it in? I think so. Oh, look, you can get a waveform. Yeah. That sounds great and really <laughs> out of time for some reason. It's because it's, it's <laughs> like, <laughs> it can't, it's not buffering it properly. It's like playing, starting playback. I used yeah. to have to do, do you remember in Cubase years ago, you had to start on bar five, otherwise it would miss the transient of the yeah, first downbeat. Yeah, yeah. Same yeah. in the automation too. I think this is the same. <laughs> it would be easier to do this in Sony Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you guys can see what we're talking about. Play it from the beginning of the sample. Doesn't even play the whole kick. Play it from before it. Get the whole bar. Banger. Sick. Okay, Josh, right. your turn. All right. I like this. This is a good song. We're making it. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we have in here. That's it. So who else have we got yeah, samples from? In fact, we are going to use your... Get some hats, and it's time to make ride. some. Ride. Here we go. In fact, ride sounds like this. <laughs> No, we can't use that. Can't <laughs> use that. All right, sorry, in fact. Um, it's just, it's still got that wrong note in the wrong key in there. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Or was that, that a system error message because it's run out of RAM? <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. See who else we have. I just need some hats. Phase oh one, have you got God. any hats for us? He's got some great hats. Santa hats. Yeah. I probably have some. Okay. Yeah, let's have a listen. 
Here we go. All right. That'll do. Ridden. That'll do. Uh, there's a channel here for drum hit here. Okay, cool. So, yeah. All right. And then maybe if I hold Alt, I can drag and do or it. Or Control. Yeah, there it is. Oh, no, that's control. not it. Okay. Hold Control. Yeah, okay, we're getting somewhere. All right. So I have no idea how this works with MIDI clips. No, I'm trying to get to grips with it, but not a whole lot. Okay, there we go. Yeah, because it's got this weird okay. icon at the oh, end to, touch, to gonna, show you. Oh, it's got, you, you messed it up. I have? Yeah, listen to it. <laughs> no. How would I make a bit of that overlap? I mean, we I mean that's kind of so cool, fine. yeah. It's, well, like, it's actually kind of fine. Yeah, go on. All right. I just saw the MIDI, the MIDI overlaying. I, I think it's time for a drop. I, I think, I think uh, trying to make an entire tune in this is just going to drive us yeah. all completely mental. So all um, of these patches are going to be available to download. <laughs> <laughs> get, get, get the link below to... Um, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to... Oh, my God. So we can do a little... I noticed earlier... Is, it, is this the kind of the best bass line sort of synth available? I have no idea. Oh, no. We only have one synth. <laughs> so you better make it work, Val. Yeah, right. <laughs> this isn't, this that could be a, worse. This is an example. But now I just want to... Oh, and it will be. Can, yeah. Can <laughs> I then loop this? Uh, I think up here, like, drag okay, so. four to five. I've got a feeling it's going to be like... Oh, just yeah. control drag, Val. I, is, I don't is think... there even a loop function? There in is, but we're never going to find it. <laughs> I think. Where's the mix? Here we go. Okay. It has like a. Oh, that's right. probably this. Up. There it is. Woo! Ah. I think that's about the best that we're going to hope for, to be honest, out of this synth. Not if does, we it have, add does it have. Does it have. What are you thinking? There's no does it have phase mod? <laughs> that's great. Is there any way of doing like FM? Oh. Let's have a look. So if you click on Geomorph, there's waveform. This is, I guess, where you pick your wavetable. Yeah, it's kind of oh, like basic morph. shapes. I, yeah, I guess. So, but this is just one oscillator, right? I can't see where the set op there's options a are. Here. There's a filter here. And um, MSE. Oh, how look, phase. See, oh, that's actually more like. It's not echo. like. It's not on. No. Button in the middle, maybe. Sync. Oh, there we go. That's kind of cool. I yeah. wanted to stop doing the... Getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, with chorus, we could make this sound rid of me, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> with like lots of feedback. So yeah. little depth, high speed. Ooh, <laughs> oh my god. Harmony in there. Sick. Oh my god. <laughs> In all fairness, I've made music that sounds worse than that. He has. Um, <laughs> all right. So what, I'm going to make a build up. Let's, make, let's, let's, just get, let's just get some framework going That's going to be difficult. Some of that copy and pasting is going to be strenuous. I can't guarantee it's going to be a consistent build up speed. But. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, let's save this masterpiece. All right, let's see if I can automate volume. Josh, how do you do automation on this? Do you remember? Uh, oh, yeah. It's, it's Okay, so you set to automation, automation right. and you have to manually move the. Whatever it is you're trying to move. What are you trying to move? The volume of this. Yeah, kicks. so then do it live, like literally actually move it. And then... All right, so it's on record. Do I hit record or just hit no, play? No, press play. All right, okay. I oh, see. So these have got like a thing around them as if to say, we are ready to record. Yeah. All right, and so now hit play. You... Yeah, give it a go. Is this move the it. best way? Oh, I see it's drawing it. Uh huh. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Sick, it's a banger. Um, and then turn read <laughs> oh, wait, on, on and write off. Oh, at least oh, we're oh, bringing no, no. dynamics back to yeah. the right? Hell yeah. This oh, is a oh like very um, accurate description though of oh what it feels like when you change your yeah, W. Although yeah. it's this is three a days to get into Ableton, it was nothing like this, that's for Sure. This but is just the level of frustration you get because yeah. you're so used to something. And or just being new to making music. Yeah. In general, like this yeah. is kind of what. As it's soon as like. something doesn't work the way you thought it was going to work, you just get so frustrated, and it might throw you off. You might quit the software. And mm -hmm. then it took me a while to switch to Ableton. Like when I first tried it, tried it for a week, hated it because it just felt so different to Cubase, and then I didn't touch it for another half a year, a oh, year. Wow. So I got shown um, Ableton. 
and within three days I never open Logic ever again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can we can we have like an offbeat shout for the drop as well? Hey. Something from the sample pack. <laughs> oh yeah, we got all these songs. Terrible. There should be some hay or something. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Enough of that. Someone else's turn. Oh, that is actually that. exciting. We've, we've discovered automation. If you, it's like a caveman learning to make fire. Oh, okay. Let's see if this works. If this works, I am gonna be. Yeah, just that's it. That's it. That's, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's great. Okay, and then the whole thing. Uh huh. And then copy paste, and you're good. And, and then here. This has has the worst duplication. Uh, yeah, there will be workflow. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's me. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, this so is so loud. <laughs> can we? Okay, I want to see. Can we pitch this up? Like the sample. Oh. oh Okay, process effect? No, no, you want to just Edit. be able to like... Okay, oh, no, so that's not it. You just try double clicking it, right? Yeah, if I double click it... No, oh, here. Comes so, um, oh, I'll turn it on stretch to tempo. Turn, tick that. There we there go. It is. Now pitch. Okay, so... Yeah! Oh! And it like stays at uh, the same length. Yeah, it's not yeah. bad. Um, I still want to see if one of the other MIDI plugins, uh, if one of the other VST plugins works. So, insert instrument. And then over here, so we've got all of those, and let's see, but yeah, I kind of want to, what is that? I think it's one of their own. Yeah, it's the, the one synth that came with it. Let's yeah, have a look. Hey, good day, sir. Oh, it's like, a, it's like a kind of GM sound set by the looks yeah. of it. Like, yeah, a, like a kind of a Halion type fuck thing. Fuck that. No, let's see what it has. Oh, it doesn't have any presets. No. Oh, we, we had to thing. probably install the factory library. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a sampler. They're all piano one, other than standard set. What's this? Is this drums? Yeah, like GM drums. Oh, it is. Change up the bass. Yay! It's not really music. Don't know about that, mate. Don't put yourself down. All right, so mastering. The banger is pretty much complete, so all that's left to do is put an OTT on the master um, because of no ozone. Because you can't afford ozone, it costs more than two hundred dollars alone, probably. Don't think one's going to be enough, man. No, you need at least six. I reckon six OTTs. On <laughs> <laughs> Three is the magic number. And here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's immediately not a kick anymore. Woo! Oh my God. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> oh, can I go? <laughs> All right, so. Uh, I think to sum up, guys, um, can you make music on a $200 computer? Yes. But should you? No, you <laughs> fucking should. <laughs> Do you want to? I don't think. No, I, I think if you had no other option, or, or maybe your friend gave you some, some software. software. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, I think what we've learned from this is the hardware is actually completely capable. Like, Definitely. Yeah. This is easily totally fine to make basic music, to be fair. Even the mechanical hard drive isn't Look, as horrible as I thought it was going to be. any of us had Ableton on here, it would be a walk in the park. We'd have a banger out by now. Maybe in the future we'll do a running Ableton on the $200 computer video. That's a good idea. But for now, thanks guys for watching. Um, I hope that you've learned more than we have from this experience. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.